Hi there, and welcome to The Works. I'm Ben Peltier. And I'm Ben Che. And we have a very special treat for you this week as Taiwanese singer-songwriter Desert Chang will be performing and talking to us in our studio. And for the nostalgia inclined, we're visiting an exhibition of rare photographs of early Hong Kong that's currently on show at the Hong Kong Museum of History. The exhibition includes photographs from the Moon Chu Foundation, many of which have never been displayed publicly before. First, though, French actress Isabelle Huppert recently visited Hong Kong to attend a retrospective of some of her best-known films and present a new one. The works had an exclusive video interview with her during her visit. Directed by Catherine Breillat, Abuse of Weakness is an autobiographical film about Breillat's own experience after having half of her body paralyzed by a massive stroke. The film is about her recovery process and about the power play between her and a real-life French con man, Christophe Thierry Rocancourt. In the film, Isabelle Huppert plays the director's on-screen equivalent, named Maud. The con man is renamed Vuco Piran. Maud wants to cast a real-life con man in her upcoming film, but is instead swindled by him. Isabelle Huppert visited Hong Kong two weeks ago to promote the film and show others in which she'd appeared at the Hong Kong International Film Festival. There must be differences, of course, as many differences as there are between men and women, but or if I feel differences, uh, it's not something that uh, I'm really aware of. It's, uh, it doesn't have any influence on my work, whether it's with a woman director or a man director. I don't think about it. Huppert is considered one of France's most versatile actresses but she's often cast in roles that have dark or obsessive streaks, either damaging herself or others. Her first leading role was in Claude Goretta's 1977 The Lace Maker, in which she plays Pom, a working-class woman who's eventually rejected by her middle-class lover. But it wasn't long before director Claude Chabrol, with whom she made seven films, found her for his 1978 Violette Nozière, in which she plays a young girl who murders her parents. I was lucky enough that people saw me in so many different shadings of personalities. So, um, and, and the year after The Lace Maker, I did Violette, which was the exact counterpoint to The Lace Maker. I, I, I kept saying that Violette was the lace maker coming out from the hospital killing her mother and her father. So that dark side of, um, let's say, my potential um, as an actress was, was revealed quite soon as I started as a young, very young actress. Huppert recently took a supporting role in Michael Haneke's Amour. previously played the title role in his The Piano Teacher as a woman who is both sexually repressed and masochistic. She says that Hanukkah is one of the directors with whom she would work any time. It's most of the time the director. Yeah, that's the most important element in this, in the construction of the making of the film. It's definitely the director. Yes, they are obviously dark and dealing with, you know, dark side of humanity and of people, but uh, it's, it's, it's not an issue for me and I, I, it's not something that I'm, I think about when I work with, um, let's say, Claude Chabot the way when I worked with him, unfortunately, and Mike, Michael Haneke, they're, they're just these people who are trying to, again, reveal certain secrets in people's behaviors. This darkness always goes to, uh, leads to a certain humanity. It, it's not a uh, sort of arbitrary, uh, pointless darkness. Of course, it's more than that. Mm -hmm. 
Huppert has appeared in more than 90 film and television productions since 1971. She's been nominated as Best Actress for the César Awards a record-breaking 14 times. 14 of her films have been in official competition at the Cannes Film Festival, and she's won the Cannes Best Actress Award twice for her roles in Violette Nozier and The Piano Teacher. Huppert was also the president of the jury at the 62nd Cannes Film Festival in 2009 and has appeared there in other roles, experiences she says she's much enjoyed. But still, she says, she doesn't consider herself a true cinephile. I'm not sure I was so much interested in, in films. I'm not a great cinephile. And uh, I have many lacks in my knowledge of uh, cinematic culture. So I think it was a very, it was more like a, a personal and very intimate relationship between me and, and, and just the fact, you know, to be filmed by a camera. I love movies as a spectator, but my way of loving movies as an actress is different because it's, a, it's just an intuition that by uh, being attracted to great directors, to those people who make great movies, uh, it will be much more rewarding for my own sake. But it's a, it's a very, in a way, selfish and uh, sort of egoist parameter mm -hmm. in my relationship to movies. The Hong Kong Museum of History has its own photo collection of 14,000 prints and other related items, which it regards as one of its most significant collections. In mid-2012, the Moon Chu Foundation agreed to loan the museum another 10,000 old photos of China, including some taken in Hong Kong, that it had recently purchased in the United Kingdom, as well as other valuable old China photos acquired through auctions. You can see some of the best at the museum until April the 21st. From the invention of the first camera that could capture images in the mid-1820s, photography, from black and white to color, has played a vital role in recording history. The exhibition, Images Through Time, Photos of Old Hong Kong, is the Hong Kong Museum of History's largest exhibition of historical photographs and includes over 800 images. Well, 早期的時候攝影術其實只是一個很新鮮的新發明 the second section of the exhibition focuses on Hong Kong's past, bearing witness to its growth over more than a century and a half. The oldest image dates back to the end of the 1850s. Many of the photos on show are from the collection of the Moon Chu Foundation and are being exhibited for the first time. Despite their age, many of the images are of very high quality due to the photographic techniques used at the time. 是非常清晰的
首次見到嘅一張當年鹹魚欄嘅真確實嘅照片出現，咁係非常嘅珍貴嘅。咁啊，見到當時嘅誒而家德芙道啦，當年嚟講咧，已經係開滿咗一啲售賣一啲鹹魚啊、海味嘅一啲鋪頭。喺八九四年嘅時候，發生過香港瘟疫嘅一啲好珍貴嘅照片嚟嘅。咁啊，當時嘅瘟疫咧係香港死咗二千五百幾人嘅。咁啊，都係個疫情最高峰嘅時候咧，有一個本地嘅洋人攝影師跟隨住志願部隊入到去當時嘅疫症重災區太平山區度咧。Many places in the photographs are hard to recognise now, but it's not only the cityscape of Hong Kong that's changed over the past 150 years. Many once common professions have either disappeared or are close to extinction, including street letter writing, street side clothes hawkers, and itinerant photo booths. Images Through Time offers a rare opportunity to travel into a past that's constantly receding. Welcome back. Singer-songwriter Desert Chang has become one of the most popular indie musicians in mainland China, her homeland of Taiwan, and Hong Kong. She was a member of the rock band Mango Runs, named Most Popular Act and winner of the Indie Music Award at the Taipei Ho Haiyan Rock Festival in 2003. In 2005, she released her debut album Maybe I Don't Care. A year later, Sony BMG released My Life Will. Many worried that the recording deal with a big label would change her music or style, but Deserts remained true to herself. She's now set up her own record label and is performing two solo concerts in Hong Kong on Wednesday and Thursday. She's in our studio talking to Billy Lee. Hello, Desert. Hello. 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 因为我们完成了这个在台北的超市真言的大型的演唱会，所以我就想说，今年除了自己可以私底下进修以外，也可以完成一些我们觉得很有意义的主题性的演出。那香港其实就是我们大概就是过完年后的第一场吧。明白，明白。那可以跟我们讲一下里头的歌曲的安排是很随心的，还是在短期内、短期之内，嗯，在安排的？无歌单的意思其实就是开放，就是当场的听众，就是直接跟他们做交流。其实比较像是呃，因为大部分的时间，如果是歌手或者是我们自己安排 round down 的话，你会呃还是会去选一些就是至少大家都有听过或者是传唱度比较高的歌曲。那无歌单的意思其实就是为了服务有一些听众，其实可能念念不忘或者是想亲亲耳听见的一些。呃，就是比较 like、uh, hidden tracks。那你自己的歌曲都是自己呃写曲，还有那歌词都是你自己负责的，对吗？对，就是我、嗯、我自己，我就是其实我的音乐就是自己做的这样。对、嗯、<笑>那你自己的灵感是从哪里来的？呃，我我比较，我其实觉得这个呃，就是在创作的过程里面，其实呃。还是个人观点，其实驾驭一切，所以比较通常我比较在意的，其实是观察这个世界许多不一样的事情，或者是嗯、呃、发生在我生命中的事情。那我认为，其实只要你够用心生活，然后你也很珍惜每一件发生在你身上的事，其实我觉得这些灵感其实都可以说是一种心得，它都藏在你每一天。的故事里面，嗯，都是在每一天我们平常生活的呃片段里头找、嗯、找到灵感，对对对，灵感。嗯，还有就是你作为一个呃比较关注社会的一个艺人，那你怎么看你自己对呃你的观众、你的歌迷的一个影响呢？我相信每一个人其实对于这个世界，或者是对于我们生活的周遭，都是呃都是关心胜过于有无意意见与否的。所以，我其实常常觉得，我不是一个所谓关心社会的歌手。我觉得是因为前几年，其实大部分的人其实都还是会对于就是生活的劳碌，所以比较焦虑。
，嗯，至少在我生活的社会里面，嗯、所以大家常常会觉得自己呃生命的可能最大的限度，其实就是把日子过好。嗯，但后来发现，其实我们每一个人要把自己的日子过好，很大一部分其实也也是来自于我们有没有可能在同一个年代，在一个社会里面。因为彼此照顾，或者是对于一件事情，其实有更好的意见，并且做出改变，所以我们每一个人可以获得生而为人共同的平安，嗯、这件事情很重要。所以我看待这件事情上面，倒不是一个歌手，而是我也只把自己当成一个公民。嗯，明白。嗯、那你自己对呃无政府主义这个想法是支持还是你有什么看法呢？呃，我记得我这个就是在十八二十岁的时候，呃，青春期的时候，其实像我们这样的年轻人，其实都很喜欢哲学啊。那你看完了所有的哲学的书，然后你也接受了很多不一样的思想，你会发现没有一种主义，可以贯穿或者是可以帮助你就活完一辈子。所以不论你在信任或者是你在认同什么。其实到最后，没有一个东西比得上发生在你当下，或者是发生在你这个 generation 的现象。嗯，所以我常常会说我是一个没有主义的人。那最后可以跟我们讲一下你未来的计划或者动向啊？呃，我这一两年应该就会安，就是用这个做大型演唱会的经验跟 know how。希望可以安排一些更有主题性的表演、嗯，然后也希望可以去很多不一样的地方。除了我跟我的乐团，其实也很想要到处看一看以外，呃，很大一部分也是我觉得他对于创作来说其实是非常重要的一个基础，嗯、就是在舞台上面面对自己跟人群，其实回过头来对创作是非常重要的一个过程。所以我想说，就是一边累积经验，然后一方面看一看下个阶段。还想做些什么样的音乐，然后慢慢让它成型，这样。那 Desert 可以跟我们介绍一下你今天为我们带来的歌曲吗？啊、呃，我今天要唱的是呃台湾的一个独，就是一个一个独立乐团，他们在年初的时候已经发行了自己的第二张专辑，啊、呃，他们的专辑叫 No Fun， 然后这个乐团叫 Forest， 然后希望有空可以邀他们。到香港一起表演了。我今年啊，我今年最大一些心愿就是我可以去各地表演啊，就是自己安排演出，我都可以邀请几个台湾的乐团，或者是香港的好朋友、歌手好朋友，我们可以一起去做一些很不一样形式的演出。那今天的这首歌其实就是来自于这个乐团他们呃写的一首歌，这样子。这首歌叫做《Vacation》。好，谢谢，谢谢带着你的演出，谢谢。
Somehow you wear it perfectly No time you'll be If you fall in love with me You'll survive your sea Sure, it's not a certainty Or if not, you're free To keep yourself alone Keep yourself alone Keep yourself alone